good to see you. All right, there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein, and today uh, we are going to be um, going to be running the Enduring Crimson uh, Brothers here, me and Louis, and so we will both be running the same sword and the blood code we are going to be running is the dark knight and this is a very very strange blood code as it's not really that great when you get it and it's not really that great uh later on and so you'll see here how we can kind of make it uh something that is um you know possible to be used in such a way here uh for you know um doing what we need to and you can see there we uh, killed that very very nice lady um, in one hit after she got up because of flashing fang so flashing fang is a doubling of our damage and we are at 1477 which is really really good for a one-handed sword and also then that goes to almost 3000 and then our charge attack on the enduring crimson is the highest of any charge attack in the one-handed sword category at 230 percent so it's another 2.3 times of what we are um getting so it's a two times two times um whoops okay it's a two times 2.3 uh, multiplier when we do our charge attack which is really awesome that we are able to do so much damage in one strike with a one-handed sword uh, typically the one-handed swords uh, fall a little bit short in the amount of damage they can possibly do and dark knight is a perfect uh, blood code to uh, see this on because it really doesn't have uh, much going for it um, during during the uh, you know whoops during the uh, different attack setups and stuff and so it's great to see that this um, that this build uh, with this weapon can actually be kind of viable uh, in certain scenarios so uh, let's see how this charge attack does versus this fine specimen okay so uh, almost killed it in one hit there which is pretty awesome uh, so you can see that we uh, we do have the damage that we can put out on the enemy and if you are going for a more dex based build then you can go for something like the Hanamakuro um, and that would get you a very very nice uh, uh, dex based sword um, either one here would be would be nice and we would like to go for the fortified um, just for the extra blocking potential but we have to go for the intensified which is the higher version here as we have that ability um, to go for because of the blood code we have where it scales uh, with both strength and dex uh, for the enduring crimson uh, so we do need to keep that in mind Okay, let's just go for another parry here. And you'll notice that we have Bloody Impact uh, active. And you might be thinking, well, why in the world do you have Bloody Impact? And it's uh, a very, very specific gift uh, with this build setup here. Uh, because a lot of times, you know, you're attacking enemies and stuff and they keep getting close to you. And you need them to get away for a second while you heal or you... For another gift or you heal your partner or something's going on um, and you just really need some distance between you and the enemy bloody impact is so very good to just walk up and do that um, and you can make really really good use of uh, creating space between you and an enemy and so that is a great 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 option for uh, you to consider uh, going about, um, you know, engaging with the enemy when you need to uh, uh, to generate some kind of space between, uh, you know, you and the enemy to allow for a reprieve or whatever. And you saw there in the case of the Golden Warrior up top, uh, it was well worth the Icor to spend to throw her off the edge. Um, absolutely worth it to throw her off the edge. So as we get into the Berserker fight here, obviously we change this to blood damage and we should be good to go. 
Now the Berserker, since he has a 50% damage reduction from Slash in Phase 2, uh, that is very, very difficult to go through. So uh, what happens here is the 1500 goes to 3000 with uh, Dark Knight, and then with the charge attack, uh, 1477 times 2 times 2.3 is 6749 or 6794 um, and uh, and so that's going to then be halved by the um, by the berserker here so it's really really difficult to actually um, engage him in a way where you have very very high damage um, and so that is a real problem for us but uh, it can be done. Okay. And we do have a 30% increase here for our charge drains. So we can do that. 2580 is not bad. It's not great, right? But it is not uh, not bad at all. And so now we are going to be doing uh, considerably uh, less damage here. Okay. I... I'm pretty sure I got that uh, parry off in time, but apparently the game says no you didn't. Okay. Now he's uh, really, really... Uh, oh, there we go. We're toast. And he did the uh, double attack. Okay. Let's uh, give Louis some time here to recover. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. Now we got lucky there that he turned uh, directly towards us and we got a launch attack. Okay, let's go for a charge. There we go, big damage. I can't see what's going on. Louis, go heal yourself like a lot. Yep, there you go. Okay, some reason the parry uh, is missing. You going for the second attack? No. Okay, parry is not connecting. What? No, I'm not okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Whatever. Nope. There we go. We'll cheat him on the parry there. Good. Okay. And perfect. Uh, he gives us the ability to show off the charge amount. 3121 on a uh, charge attack uh, after... Um, Flashing Fang is active, so very, very nice of him to let us finish him off on the exact attack that we have built for uh, with what we were going for here. So let's head onwards to the invasion, and this is absolutely a nightmare of an invasion for a build like this. So we will give it um, a little bit of a shot here, and we will go for ice uh, just to make sure that we can maybe, maybe, potentially... Okay. She just decided to go extra slow there on the turnaround for whatever reason. So 1950 is not a horrible amount, um, not a horrible amount of damage against an enemy like this. So uh, you can, you know, match those uh, damage values to your uh, character and stuff, and you'll see, you know, just how much. Uh, your character does and that is another reason why we have bloody impact as well as circular cleaver is because of the fact that we can throw enemies to the ground uh, kind of whenever we want okay there is the invasion let's see where everybody is at let's go ahead and get flashing fang active oh they're coming from up there okay that's fine um Let's see if we can... Oh, okay. No. Ugh. 
why did they have to come from up top and go for us uh, against uh, the wall there to get us into a stagger state where we can't do anything except fall off the edge. That is really unfortunate. That is the way it goes though. When you play Vayne, uh, you just never can tell uh, what is in store for you. Okay. And 3901. That is really, really nice. Very, very spicy damage for a one-handed sword. Uh, to have almost 4,000 on just a regular attack. Uh, typically, that is not the amount of damage you have. Uh, typically, you have a very, very, very uh, problem. Oop, okay. Nice job, Louis. You're just doing a lot of stagger. That's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the invasion again. We'll go for our ice damage. See, and and now they start here on the uh, area. Okay. Louis is going to get tanked in the face here. Okay, now they're coming down from the ladder, which is not great by any means. Oh boy. Stupid monkeys. Get out of here. See, again, uh, really, really coming in handy there to uh, kill monkeys. Way to go there, Louis. Unfortunately, we are inhibited for a very, very, very long time. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay, let's just go ahead and load up on i here. So when we uh, run out of, um, uh, you know, our ability here, our, our uh, gifts, we will have the ability to do that. Oh, come on. Okay, what is Louie doing over here? He doesn't know. He's healing or something. Which is great. Okay. Oh boy. Louie is almost dying. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Uh, she's going around the corner. These folks are coming down, maybe? Yep, here they come. Ouch. Man, I just can't get those dodges in uh, at the exact right times yet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, I can't see. Okay, there she is. <laughs> oh man. Well, we were really, 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 really close to finishing it off there. Uh, got a little bit hung up for whatever reason. My charge drain, uh, when she fell, got locked in position. And I wanted to hit her with it as soon as she fell for some i so we could knock them down with bloody impact. But apparently Vayne said, no, that's not what you're doing. And we paid for it by dying immediately. So 2438 is pretty good. Um, you know, otherwise, uh, just as regular basic damage, which is great. Uh, because typically that is you know, pretty hard to come by. Okay. Okay, let's go for another charge. There we go. Finish her off. So the charge attack here at 230% is actually really, really viable to uh, use. It's very, very helpful. Okay, let's throw folks around here. I think we got rid of one, which is nice. 
Um. Okay, Louie. Hold up. Let's uh, get it all going here. Okay, here they come. Okay. Cheap. Stupid, stupid monkeys. I hate the monkeys, man. They are just absolutely the worst. Okay, let's... Oh, Louis got that one up in the air. That's good. Average, averagely good. All right, here they come. Oh, all righty. And yes, I was going to say there's got to be more here. Pretty well. Circular Cleaver definitely putting in some work there, which is nice. Okay, excellent. So you can see there that the uh, that this build, the blood code, the the style of fighting with it. Um, you can absolutely still hang with the big boys on this um, for sure because um, you are doing some dual scaling off of strength and dex which is really really nice to have oh shoot Louis no okay well and we can knock her down for it. then a charge attack to finish her off so very 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 good here uh that we are able to do a lot a lot a lot of actual physical damage um we aren't really like super set up here for a lot of um a lot of uh elemental damage of any kind but we are set up for some very 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 good uh overall damage uh just with the um the very uh strange uh, setups that we have here. So let's get this going. And then charge. For 48. 4877 is uh, really, really good. Okay. So um, we'll call it here for today. And uh, we'll finish out the cathedral uh, tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Dark Knight uh, build. And. Um, you know, Dark Knight, it uh, literally is one of those that just gets overshadowed by all kinds of other things uh, very, very quickly. Something like Queen's Claw, you know, can outpace it uh, when you build it correctly here. Um, even uh, even something like uh, Prometheus uh, kind of, you know, dwarfs this. Uh, Blood Code, very, very hard, has all the right pluses in all the right areas as opposed to um, Dark Knight, and you get Prometheus from the outset. So there really is, you know, little uh, little to offer from Dark Knight as you go along in the game. And, you know, even things like Scout, uh, which are pretty later blood codes, uh, they can outdo some of the things that uh, Dark Knight has to offer. So, But Dark Knight is a very, very good blood code to get uh, because of Halberd Mastery, Chariot Rush, Flame Protection, Blood Weapon, Blood Spike, um, 
they're really all good gifts, all very usable gifts here in this blood code, so definitely worth getting and mastering everything in it. However, the blood code itself is kind of, um, you know, dwarfed later on. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.